All right, well, let's get, uh, let's get started here. Um, thank you all for being here. I, I mean, this goes without saying, this is a new experience for all, including new on teaching via Zoom. I did teach a class yesterday, it was good. And um, really the connection, if you, you know, all of us are practicing here and nobody's looking at the camera. Um, I'd love for you to look at me. I, my speaker view is my speaker view, but if you would want to turn your cameras on, that too is a way of helping me to really lead you through your practice, um, but no obligation, obviously. And um, welcome everyone. So yes, my name is Heidi. I am honored to lead you out through a practice through small world yoga and Zoom. I have never uh, realized how much connection is important and I love seeing family and friends on here that I would not otherwise have the opportunity to share this with. So I want you all to enjoy the experience. Um, know that it's important that we're here together. All right. Let's get started and really no judgment here. If you're a novice, you're a novice. You're on your mat. You're a yes for yourself. You're a yes for your community. So come on into um, child's pose. So come on to your mat, um, bring your heels onto your mat, leaning your hips back, just wide knees, yeah, opposite edges of your mat. And just settle in here. Great, yeah. Be present right here, right now, no worries on, you know, I don't know what I'm doing or, Worrying what you have to do later, just be present with each other, find joy and connection. And start your ujjayi breath, inhale through your nose, complete exhale through your nose. Again, complete inhale, hold at the top and exhale. One more breath in, Exhale out. Now gently come up into downward facing dog. So plant both hands on your mat under your shoulders as you lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Your feet are hip width distance apart. So fingers facing forward, yeah. Nice, lift your hips up. Let your heads hang and relax. But as you lift your hips up, that will take any pressure out of your wrists or your shoulders. Maybe pedal your feet left and right. First down dog of the day. Find ease in this pose along with your strength and power. Yeah, let your head hang. Breath in and breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale out. Now slowly walk to the top of your mat coming into ragdoll. So let your head hangs, feet are hip distance apart. Grab opposite elbows, maybe sway side to side. Shake your head no, nod your head yes. You're a yes for yourself. Again, be a yes for yourself and your community. Breath in and breath out. Yeah, just let your body hang, let your head hang. One more breath in, exhale out, release your hands and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale up, extended mountain, reach your fingertips up towards your ceiling. Exhale your hands to heart center. And we'll begin class with one ohm. Inhale. Uh, oh. Inhale up, extended mountain. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms at your shins, straight back, crown of your head forward. Exhale, forward fold. And again, deep breath in. 
Inhale up, extended mountain. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa. Come to a high plank, down to low plank. You can come to your knees here as well. Inhale, upward facing dog, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. We're beginning our sun salutation in A here. So maybe set an intention for your practice, for yourself, and especially for our world as a, as a community and getting through this and supporting our health workers and those that are suffering physically from this disease. Breath in. Breath out. Two more breaths. Let your head hang. Deepest breath in. Empty out. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up, extended mountain. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa. High to low plank, one breath. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And being intentional with your breath. Go with your own movement, your own breath. Five breaths here, but intentional in complete inhales and steady exhales. Breath in and breath out. Three more breaths. Two more. Deepest breath in, empty out, step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, Extended mountain, inhale up again, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low, one breath. Up dog, down dog. Five breaths here. Start to feel your heart beat, your body warm up. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale and exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale, lift your hips up to the ceiling. Deepest breath in, empty out, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Reach up, extended mountain. Full inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa. High to low, plant your hands. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Again, five breaths here. Three more breaths. Yeah, ground all four corners of your hands into your mat. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in, empty out, step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, inhale up to chair pose. We'll start our sun bees here. So settle into chair. Your feet can be hip distance apart, knees apart, hips back. Set into your, your heels. If your toes are together, maybe your heels are separated slightly. Still sink in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink in. One more deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. High to low plank. 
up dog and down dog. Warrior one, right side. Inhale your right foot forward, arms up, root to rise. Your back foot is at a 45 degree angle as you bring your right knee over your ankle. Powerful warrior here. Feel this pose. Remember what it feels like. We'll come back here. Breath in and breath out. One more deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, vinyasa, hands to your mat, high to low, up dog and down dog. Warrior one, left side. Again, root to rise, inhale up as you ground your feet into your mat. Feel your pose, find your pose. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, wonderful. Great, Louise. Strong arms up, powerful here. Inhale, exhale, sink in. One more deep breath in. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, complete inhale, hold at the top. Exhale, downward facing dog, five breaths here. We'll start to move a little quicker here and I do want you to again to honor your breath, honor your body. Breath in, and breath out. Complete inhale. Complete exhale. Three more breaths. Two more. Deepest breath in. Empty out. Jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale up to chair. Exhale, sink in. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in, inhale up, exhale, forward fold, halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Warrior one, right side, one breath forward and up, root to rise. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low. Up dog and down dog. Warrior one, left side, bring your left foot forward. Inhale up, knee over heel. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low. Up dog and down dog. Five breaths here. Yeah, and start to feel the rhythm of it. Again, your breath, your movement. We'll always meet in downward facing dog and find presence in what you're doing in your breath. Two more breaths. Deep inhale, exhale it out. Deepest breath in, empty out, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Extended mountain, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, chair pose, come to chair. Sun B, inhale up, exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low. Up dog, down dog, warrior one right side. Inhale your right foot forward, arms up. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank. Up dog, down dog, warrior one, left side. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank. Up dog and down dog. Five breaths here. Beautiful, powerful flows here, way to go. Come on, you've got it, inhale and exhale. Feel each other's energy, breath in and breath out. Three more breaths. Two more. Deepest breath in, empty out, 
Step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale up to chair, one breath. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low. Inhale up, exhale, down dog, warrior one, right side, one breath. Inhale up, exhale, vinyasa, plant your hands, go back. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one, left side, inhale your left foot forward, plant your foot, inhale up, exhale, vinyasa, high to low, up dog, and down dog. Five breaths here. Feel your rhythm. Exhale out. Rhythm of your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Deepest breath in. Empty out, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale up to chair, one breath, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low plank, one breath. Up dog, down dog, warrior one, right side. Inhale up. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low, up dog, down dog, warrior one, left side, inhale, forward and up, exhale, vinyasa, high to low, inhale up, exhale, down dog, five breaths here, beautiful, so we'll all meet in down dog. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in, exhale it out. Deepest breath in, empty out, step or jump to the top of your mat, last sun B, inhale up, forward fold, inhale up to chair pose, breath in. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low, up dog, down dog, warrior one, right side, vinyasa, high to low, downward facing dog, warrior one, left side, last time, inhale up, exhale, flow, up dog, inhale, exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Way to go, Erin. Meet us in down dog. Breath in. Exhale out. Inhale your right leg up to the ceiling. Toes pointing towards your mat. So three-legged dog. So you're in down dog with your right leg up. Now bend your knee and then stack your hips. So flex your right foot. Your hip comes in alignment with your other hip, like you're gonna punch a hole in the wall to your left. That's opening up your hip. From here, come over to flip dog, or you can stand three-legged dog. Nice, flip dog. Nice, Kate. Lift your hips up to the ceiling. Plant your feet, toes at 12 o'clock. Beautiful, Elizabeth. Reach your arm to the room in front of you to the wall. Breath in. Exhale, come over, high plank, side plank, right side. Plant your right hand under your right shoulder as you extend your fingertips up to the ceiling. Yeah, breath in, breath out. Inhale up, look at your fingertips. Exhale, one more breath in. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Now lift your left leg up to the ceiling. So lift your left leg up, 
bend your knee, stack your hip, and then flip your dog. Plant your right hand under your shoulder, toes come at 12 o'clock, and lift your hips up to the ceiling as you look at your left hand. Breath in, breath out. Two more. Deepest breath in. Exhale, come back over to high plank and then side plank on your left side. So plant your left hand under your left shoulder. As you extend your right fingertips up to the ceiling, look up. Breath in, breath out. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, everyone. Breath in, breath out. Now inhale, exhale. One more breath in, crescent lunge right side. Inhale your right foot forward your arms up. You can take low crescent lunge here as well, which is bringing your knee to the mat. But your back foot, it's like you're on your tiptoes. Bring your tiptoe tip toe over your heel. So inhale up, exhale. One more breath in, exhale. Bring your hands to heart center and then twist right. So your elbow comes to the outside of your right knee, but twist open. Don't sink your body, yeah, there we go, Luis. Yeah, left elbow on your knee, and then look up over your right shoulder as you twist. Breath in, same depth of breath. Exhale out. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice, Kristen. You can spread your arms here. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in. Stay on the exhale. Open up to warrior two. From warrior two, come into extended side angle. So bring your right elbow either to your knee or you can bring your hand on the inside of or outside of your foot. But extend your left fingertips up to the ceiling as you twist. Yeah, look up at your fingertips. Strong legs, nice bend in your right knee. Nice, Kate. You can take a half bind, Kristen. You can take a full bind. But continue your breath. Just look up at your fingertips. Breath in, breath out. Two more breaths. Deep breath in, breath out. Deepest breath in, stay on the exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, two breaths here, breathe in, breathe out, deepest breath in, empty out, step or jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift, forward fold, Inhale up to chair. Yes, yeah, set into your heels again here. If your feet are apart, keep your knees apart. Reach up from your side body. Breath in. Exhale, sink a little lower. Two more breaths. One more breath in. Exhale your hands to heart center and twist right. So again, bring your elbow on the outside of your knee while you keep your knees straight. So one, one knee may want to come out in front. Just even up your knees. Breath in and breath out. The crown of your head is forward as you twist. Breath in, breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Peace fingers around your toes. And pull your front of your chest to the tops of your thighs and let your head hang. 
Bend your knees and elbows as much as you need to to give you access. Breath in and breath out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale, release your hands and vinyasa. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Crescent lunge, left side. Again, bring your left foot forward as your back foot comes, your heel comes over your toes. This is a challenging balance as well. So ground down into your left foot, all four corners of your left foot into your mount as you reach your arms up. Breath in and breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale your hands to heart center and twist left. So maintain that bend in your left knee. Yeah, and maybe your balance will be off, but just come right back and continue to breathe. Focus on your breath. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breath in and breath out. Maybe come into a bind here, half bind. Nice, Kate. Two more breaths, you got it. Deepest breath in, exhale out, open up to warrior two, and then extended side angle. So bring your left elbow onto your knee, Keep the bend in your knee as you lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Three more breaths. Deepest breath in, exhale vinyasa. High to low plank, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, two breaths here. Deepest breath in, empty out, step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, inhale up to chair. Again, steady chair here, powerful pose. Feel whatever you feel, whatever sensation sink into your heels, maybe feeling a burn in your, in your quads. Just when you want to get out of the pose, that's when it starts. My favorite and least favorite saying, because it's so true, but it's so powerful at the same time. Breath in, breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale your hands to heart center and twist left. So yeah, bring your elbow on the outside of your knee crown of your head towards the front of the room. And again, watch your knees here. Make sure that they're in line with each other. This squares our hips. Breathe in and breathe out, maybe twist. Breath in, again, exhale and twist. One more deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold, palms to toes. So again, feet hip distance apart, bring your hands under your feet. Yeah, like massage your, your wrists with your toes. And again, find whatever softness in your elbows and your knees that you need here to allowing you access. Breath in and breath out. Two more breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Last breath in, exhale vinyasa. High to low plank, upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slowly walk to the top of your mat. Tiptoe forward and then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale up, extended mountain, reach up, and then hands to heart center. And then release your hands, maybe shake everything out. We'll come into eagle right side. 
So right arm comes under left. You can also do bear hug here, but right under left and right leg over left. And sink your hips in. It doesn't have to be a deep bend. You can actually also uh, kickstand your foot. But hug everything to your midline, everything to center. As you set your dristy, focus on your breath. One non-moving spot in front of you. Breath in and breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Deep breath in, stay for the exhale and release. Eagle left side. Again, left arm under right or bear hug. Left leg over right and then sink in. Maybe sit back, but bring your arm bones back, shoulder blades, imagine your shoulder blades touching behind you. And squeeze everything to center. And kick, again, kick standing your foot to give you balance is great. There's no right or wrong, no judgment. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, stay through this. If you fall out, go right back in. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in. Stay for the exhale and release. Beautiful, maybe shake it out here. All right, standing leg raise, right side. So plant your left foot into your mat, toes at 12 o'clock. Raise your right knee in line with your hip, flex your right foot. Extend your left arm out as you bring your right knee to the side. So here your shoulders are back. Pit of the belly is up and in from the skin to the muscle to the bone, hug in, breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Last breath in, exhale out, bring your knee back to center, extend your arms up and then extend your right leg out in front of you. And then bring your knee in and transition back into airplane. So airplane, your ar arms are gonna come by your side. Imagine a jet airliner, palms face down. And your back leg, you're, it's like you're gonna punch a hole in the wall behind you. Yeah, flex your foot and your toes are towards your mat. And what this does is it squares your hips so that you have a better balance. You're in your true north here. Arms out by your side, open up your chest. Breath in and breath out. Beautiful, and if you fall out, come back in. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, come into half moon. So you can use a block or the ground. Put your hand on the block and open up your left leg and your toes will face the wall in front of you and open up your arms and fingertips to the ceiling. Maybe look up, challenge your drissy here as you continue to breathe. Beautiful. Breathe in and breathe out. You've got this. If you fall out, come back in. That's the beauty of it. It's a practice. Find your fullest expression. One more breath in, exhale, release. Slowly come up. Inhale up, extended mountain. Exhale, your hands to heart center. All right, left side, standing leg raise. So again, plant, ground your right foot into your mat. True north, toes at 12 o'clock. Bring your knee up. Flex your foot and then your knee, grab your knee, grab it and extend it out as your right hand or arm comes to the right. Maybe look over at your right fingertips. Shoulders back. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in. 
Exhale, bring your knee back to center. Extend your arms up as your leg comes out directly in front of you and then transition again back into airplane. Doesn't, can be, it doesn't have to be a fast transition. Just focus on your breath and your balance. Strong arms, strong back leg. Open up your chest. Breath in and breath out. Breathe in and out. One more breath in. Exhale, come into half moon. Other side. So oh, again, open up your hips. So stack your hips. So one hip is on top of the other. And again, what that does is it gives you your true north and balance. Flex your left foot as you extend your fingertips up. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Breath in, raise your leg a little higher. Breathe out. Deepest breath in. Exhale, release. Beautiful, inhale up, extended mountain. Exhale, your hands to heart center. All right, dancer, right side. We'll move right in to our grounding poses, feeling grounded. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. As you grab the inside of your left foot, bring your knee back to center and then lean forward. Slowly come forward as you press your right foot into your hand and ground your left foot into your mat. Open up your chest. Continue to breathe here. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come on down. All right, other side. Again, ground your right foot, toes at 12 o'clock, right arm up, grab the inside of your left foot, your knees come back together, and then lean forward as you press your left foot into your hand. Strong, grounded right foot. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in. Exhale, release. All right, let's come into tree. So again, come back to your intention, whatever your intention for yourself, for your community, for our world as a whole, focus on that here. So plant your left foot. You can bring your right foot to kickstand on your ankle or bring it to your inner thigh. But press everything to center. You can keep your hands at heart center or you can grow your branches. Whatever your fullest expression is here, continue to breathe. and lift up from your side body. Maybe look up to the sky, to the ceiling. Yeah, and if you fall out, come back in. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in, exhale, come on down. All right, other side. Ground your left foot into your mat. And then again, bring your right foot either on the inside of your thigh, your calf, or your ankle, never your knee. And when you're rooted, that's when you can either grow, keep your hands at heart center or you can grow your branches. Your, again, your fullest expression. Where can you challenge yourself here? It's a solid foundation, solid root. We find, especially now, times of uncertainty, how can we challenge that comfort by pushing our limits and that may be simply right now lean back until you fall out find a back bend here close your eyes breathe in and breathe out love it one more breath in exhale release inhale up extended mountain exhale forward fold Halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low plank, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right side. So come into warrior one, plant your right foot forward as you inhale up, open up to warrior two, 
and then come into triangle on your right side. So straighten your right leg as you hinge over. Bring, you can bring your right hand to your ankle or your calf, but extend your fingertips up to the ceiling, your left fingertips. Nice, straighten your, again, straighten your right leg. Breath in, breath out. Two more breaths. One more breath in, exhale out, slowly come up, arms by your side for side facing forward fold. So pivot your feet in the same direction facing forward and then gently lower down over your legs. So find whatever softness you need in your legs here, allowing you to feel your full stretch here. And if an inversion is in your practice, maybe come into tripod headstand here yeah, and find your modification. Nice, Liz. Nice triangle here. She's eight and a half months pregnant, so she's modifying. Beautiful. The breath in. Beautiful, Luis. Yeah, challenge yourself. Try that headstand. Way to go. Have fun with this. We're connecting. Yeah, this is fun. Breathe in. Breathe out. And if you're in inversion, start to come down and meet us in a Forward fold. One more breath in. Exhale out slowly, come up, come into pyramid pose. So pivot your foot and right foot and toes to the front as you come and bend over your right leg. Maybe your both hands can be planted outside of your foot, maybe to a block, but let your head hang and find softness in your knee allowing you full access here. Breathe in and breathe out. Breath in and breath out. Plant your left hand in on the inside of your foot as you open up, come into twisting triangle. You can bring your right arm around your back for a half bind or extend your fingertips up to the ceiling. Full breath in, exhale out. One more breath in, exhale vinyasa, high to low plank, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. And warrior one left side, come back into warrior one, open up to warrior two, and then triangle left side. So again, straighten your left leg, and then extend your fingertips up to the ceiling. Breath in and breath out. Breathe in and out. One more time, deep breath in, exhale, slowly come up, side, arms by your side, pivot your feet to the same direction in front of you, and then come into a forward fold. You can grab, clasp your hands at your low back here for a shoulder opener as you bend over, maybe a towel, Nice extension, Jordan. Breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, Kate, maybe come into a handstand here. Headstand. One more breath in. Exhale out, slowly come up, pivot your left foot forward, hands at your lower back and namaste, front facing forward fold, extend over your leg or you can also bring your hands grabbing opposite elbows that extend over your left leg. Breath in and breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, out. exhale your right hand on the inside of your left foot for twisting triangle as you extend your left fingertips to the ceiling. Deep breath in, exhale out. One more breath in. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low plank, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Now roll forward into a high plank and then slowly lower down onto your mat in five, four, three, two, 
one, and release onto your mat, beautiful. Bring your hands and arms by your side, palms face down, legs together, tops of your feet on your mat, and then inhale up. Lift your feet and your hands and your legs up, crown of your head facing forward, slight gaze in front of you. Breathe in, breathe out, breath in, lift up, one more breath out, and deepest breath in, lift up, and come on down. All right, come right up, inhale up, come up. Breath in, breath out. Deep breath in, lift up. Exhale, one more time, deepest breath in, lift up, and exhale, come on down. Floor bow, so come right into it. Grab the outer edges of your ankles or your feet. Bring your knees back together as you have reached them and then lift up. Press into your hands, lift your chest up. Find softness in your chest and power in your legs as you lift up. So breathe in, lift, breathe out. Two more breaths, breath in, breath out. Deepest breath in, lift up, exhale, release. And windshield wiper your legs side to side. And then find stillness, extend both legs out behind you. And bring your hands by your ribs and come into upward facing dog. The upward facing dog, you lift your chest up, your tops of your feet are on your mat, lifting your quads and your shins off your mat. And a softness in your elbow. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath in. Exhale, bring your hips back towards your heels and maybe, and then sit back and then scoot your legs out in front of you to prepare for a bridge. So you're gonna sit on your bottom, legs out in front, feet are hip distance apart, knees bent, lie on your back. Nope. Can't see me, but yeah, there we go. So feet are hip distance apart and lift your hips up, inhale up, up, lift up, press through your feet, and then breathe in, and breathe out. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in, exhale, come on down. All right, we'll come into three bridges here. And try something new. If you haven't done it, maybe try it now. But challenge yourself, your fullest expression. Prepare, inhale, press up. Press your hands and feet into your mat. Beautiful. Nice, Elizabeth. Lift your hips up. Aaron, you've got it. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath in. Exhale, come on down. All right, come right in. Inhale up, press up. Toes at 12 o'clock. For three, two, one, come on down. All right, one more time. You've got it. I believe in every single one of you. Come on, you've got it. Breath in, lift up, press up. Nice, for five, four, Three, nice Liz, lift up, you and baby. Three, two, one, come on down. Supta Vada Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees open wide, left hand on your heart, right on your lower abdomen. Breath in and breath out. Come into happy baby. Grab the outer edges of your feet, knees come towards your mat or the ground. Yeah, and just let your head rest. Put, press the base of your back into your mat. Rock side to side. And then extend both legs up to the ceiling, into the sky, strong legs, flex your feet. Lower your feet 30 degrees. Another 30. All the way down, tap your heels, lift them two inches off the ground, look at your toes, and lift up. Two more times, lower 30, another 30, all the way down, tap, lift, look at your toes for five, four, three, two, one, lift them up. 
All right, breath in and breath out. Start to rock forward and backwards, bend your knees and come into a forward backward motion and we'll meet in boat pose. So high boat here, you can grab the backs of your knees but your shoulders are open, extend your arms out. Breath in, breath out. One more deep breath in, exhale, come on down, come on to your back and again, begin that forward and backwards motion you can come through a flow here or just come into half pigeon. So come into down dog. So rock forward and backwards. Come up and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. From down dog, raise your right leg up to the ceiling. Bring your knee to your right wrist and come into half pigeon. You also have the option for reverse pigeon. You can come onto your back. But if you're in pigeon, lower over your right knee. Gently extend your left leg back. Go through five breaths here. Let your head hang. Breath in and breath out. Three more breaths. Deepest breath in, exhale out, slowly come up and switch legs and come back into down dog, maybe shake your, your hip out and then lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Bring your left knee to your left wrist and then slowly lower down. Yeah, and have your right leg come directly out from your hip. Breathe through whatever sensation you have here. Three more breaths, inhale, exhale. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in, exhale out, slowly come up and then swing your right leg out in front of you. Extend both legs out in front. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale gently, lifting from your waist, lower over your legs and find whatever softness you need here in your knees, allowing you access to bring your head towards your feet. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in, exhale out, slowly come up, and then come onto your back. Extend your legs up to the ceiling. In waterfall, your feet and legs are directly over your hips. You can also come into a shoulder stand here. Yeah, come onto your back. Let your head rest. As you extend your legs up, your hands by your side, it's like you're standing on the ceiling. If you're in shoulder stand, come in to plow by bringing your toes to the floor or your mat behind you. Over your head. Yeah, careful to not crunch into your neck here. And then from plow, come into deaf man's pose. Your knees come by your ears or your temple. And then slowly lower down. If you're in tabletop, come on to your back. I mean tabletop, if you're in the waterfall, come on to your back. Everybody on their back. Bring your right knee into your chest for a supine twist. So your right knee comes into your chest, extend it over your left side body as your right arm extends out to the right. Look at your fingertips. Feel a nice stretch in your low back, in your IT band. Breathe in and breathe out. And come back to center, switching legs. 
Left knee comes into your chest, extend your right leg out, and then extend your left knee over your body. Left arm coming out for another supine twist. Feel a nice stretch in your low back and your IT band. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath in, exhale out, come back to center, hug both knees into your chest, and then we'll come into Supta Baddha Konasana one more time. Knees open wide, soles of your feet together, left hand on your heart, right on your lower abdomen. Feel your heartbeat, your breath, your body is alive here and healthy. As we come into community and practicing and knowing that we're all out here in this together, any whatever uncertainty, know that your breath is always here for you and your practice. One more breath in, exhale out, extend both legs out in front of you arms and hands by your side, palms face up as you come into Shavasana. Acknowledge that you've been a yes for yourself and for each other. Start to bring presence back into your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe extend both arms up overhead and come into a deep stretch. And then if you want, gently come onto your right side, knees into your chest, maybe use your arm as a pillow. And then with your eyes closed, or lowered, find a comfortable seated position at the front of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll seal our class as we started with an OM. Deep inhale. 
It has been a true honor to connect as a community, family, friends, new friends, new people to small world yoga. We have to find, we can find opportunity and happiness in these challenging times together. Bring your hands to your third eye in between your brow. The light in me honors and acknowledges the light in each and every one of you. Together we say Namaste. 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 Thank you everyone. I don't know how